Hey everyone, still at Lanai Cat Sanctuary, and uh, for now, I'm going to speak about Cerebrus. You know, the company that's got a chip that's as big as your head. They do the wafer scale engine, and they got some more money. What's your minimum specification? If you want an independent cloud services provider for home servers, VPNs, or clients, consider Linode and sign up today at linode.com slash techtechpotato for a free $100 60-day credit. A recent Gartner Performance Report shows Linode's topology offers almost double the database performance per dollar than other public cloud services. So, ever since a company called Cerebrus promoted our hot chips, I've been kind of following them, uh, speaking to the CEO, fair amount, whenever they have a new customer, new product launch, current generation product is the wafer scale engine 2 it is a wafer sized processor literally yield of 100 percent built on tsmc 7 nanometer 850,000 cores it's got 80 90 gigabytes on board sram the idea is that you do machine learning on this and because it's so big you can get models that require hundreds of GPUs to fit on one of these and you get the inherent latencies of not having to manage data moving around those GPUs. So the downside is that they cost a lot. So you've heard that TSMC 7 nanometer maybe costs 20 grand a wafer. Um, I know I did a video earlier that was a lot lower than that, though prices since then have gone up. Even if you include the custom packaging, the custom IP that they've got in that Cerebrus processor, because to power a whole wafer you need thousands and thousands of amps. I believe the whole chip is about 14 kilowatts and the system it goes in is, uh, what, 24 kilowatts of power supplies and some of those are redundant. Uh, but the whole unit itself costs uh, a few million, exactly what they won't tell us, it depends on the customer, it depends on the deployment. But along that you side, you, you know, you get the software with it. And the whole idea is that you replace racks and racks and racks of GPUs with just this one system. And you can chain up to 192 of these systems using their new uh, Swarm X and Memory X interconnect. It's all designed to be, you know, customized and scalable. Do up to machine learning issues with up 10 trillion parameters, which is, you know, an order of magnitude currently what's available. And do it in the the idea is do it in a more cost effective way, assuming you already own the hardware. And Cerebrus's current customers are very much typical, uh, you know, Department of Defense, uh, Lawrence Livermore, um, National Labs, Sandia, I think, has got one as well. Uh, pharmaceutical Industries got one. Uh, so AstraZeneca, oil and gas, sort of those traditional companies that know how to do HPC at scale and are looking for a way to attach a big AI engine onto their supercomputer or use it separately. There's also a few other use cases with a chip this big and with the amount of memory each of those 850,000 cores have. You can actually do stencil compute and this is harks back to a bit of what I did during my PhD. Stencil compute is uh, can be difficult to do or, no, stencil compute at a certain degree is difficult to parallelize, but when you have enough memory per one of these cores, you can do a full site blown stencil compute and accelerate that. Um, paper's really fascinating. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, I highly recommend you read it. But the news I'm putting uh, online today is, is they announced a couple of weeks ago that they've got some more funding. 250 million dollars so now uh, i believe some cats are fighting <laughs> that's what's going to happen at a cat sanctuary but another 250 million dollars uh, on top of the 460 odd 490 odd that they already had so now you know getting some serious money i spoke to andrew feldman uh i think i think he's a ceo i always forget which position he is i think he's a ceo but he said they don't actually need the money right now um, but it's best to have it before you need it. They said, you know, next generation tape out of five nanometers is going to cost 20 million. This puts it well beyond that and perhaps another generation beyond. They're expanding 
from 400 personnel to north of 600 by the end of next year. Uh, they're you know, quite keen to get people on board, especially sort of people who watch this channel. So I'm here, like I said, in Lanai, in Hawaii. The reason I'm here is Qualcomm's uh, Snapdragon Tech Summit. And so, you know, thanks to Qualcomm for sending me out for this. Hopefully, you know, you watch uh, those videos as well and read all about it on an Antec. But as part of my trip back through the US, I'm spending some time in San Francisco, um, in the in South Bay area. And my goal is to spend a day with Cerebrus. Uh, you know, see one of these chips up close. I've got a picture of me biting the first generation Wavescale engine, but uh, perhaps going to the lab and see what they've got cooking would be would be nice to do. Uh, get Andrew um, or one of their senior engineers on for an interview would also be great. So I'm trying to make that happen with what's going on in the world. Not sure exactly where people are right now and uh, whether any of them will be in the office when I'm there. <laughs> we'll see. If they're not there, <laughs> maybe I'll get at the run of the place. But if you've got any questions for Cerebrus, um, I know a lot of you have been asking about ML Perf results. Uh, you know, a lot of you who care about this stuff have been asked about ML Perf results, so definitely going to ask about that. But if you've got any other questions, put them in the comments below. And when I say below, I don't mean on the muse. Hey, what you doing? Seriously, it's a fun cat sanctuary. So minimum specification for Cerebrus here. More cores. They've got some really nice IP. I also want to ask if anybody else can, how much their IP is watertight, because it takes a lot to do a wafer scale. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We also have now a private Discord server. And if you want access to that, become a Patreon member and it'll instantly add you as long as your emails are linked. You can join the Patreon for as little as $1.50 a month, and it all goes back into helping the channel. Thank you for your support.